The universe, if nothing else, is full of very big things. Planets can be enormous, as can star systems, galaxies, and so on. But how big do things really get in the universe? The answer is mind-blowingly huge, so here are 10 enormous cosmic structures. Number 10. The Laniakea Supercluster One particularly interesting giant structure in the universe is interesting specifically because we're a part of it. Known as the Laniakea or Local Supercluster, this structure contains about 100,000 galaxies, and the Milky Way is one of them. Unfortunately though, this supercluster is not believed to be gravitationally bound and will someday disperse. The local supercluster is immense, stretching over 500 million light years. It's actually subdivided into four parts, previously thought to be separate superclusters in their own right, but are now known to be linked. The Milky Way lies in the Virgo supercluster part, and it's further subdivided into a series of clusters and groupings though we'll never know exactly how many because they lie in what is known as the Zone of Avoidance, which is the disk of the Milky Way that obscures anything behind it from our perspective in visible light. Also hiding in the Zone of Avoidance is the focus of our local supercluster, known as the Great Attractor. We can't see it in visible light, but we can see its effects and observe it in other areas of the electromagnetic spectrum. It seems likely that the Great Attractor is yet another very dense supercluster acting on everything around it gravitationally. But there is an anomaly here, or at least a potential one. Standard cosmological models suggest that the motion of galaxy clusters in respect to the cosmic microwave background radiation should be random. However, some data suggests that it's not, and that some process is causing a flow, termed dark flow, in a common direction. It's debated whether dark flow actually exists, with contradictory measurements going both ways, but there is an interesting clue here should it prove to exist. One idea is that what caused it was interactions between parts of the universe that are now beyond the observable universe, but were once very close before inflation and the Big Bang. Another possibility is that it's being caused by a sibling universe, suggesting a multiverse, or some region of spacetime that is very different from what we know and understand. Number 9. The Hyperion Proto-Supercluster Looking deeply into space is the same as looking back in time. The further an object is, the further back in time you see it. Eventually, if you look far enough, you see back to the earliest objects in the universe. Not quite yet a supercluster from our perspective, the Hyperion Proto-Supercluster is the earliest known example. We see the structure at roughly 20% of the age of the universe, or a distance of about 11 billion light years. It's expected over time to develop into a full-blown galaxy supercluster from our perspective, though in reality it likely already is, we just won't see it for a very long time. This particular structure is also interesting because it shows a mismatch in the gravity the objects within it should have versus how it actually behaves, suggesting the involvement of dark matter. But it's dark matter interacting dating from the early universe, giving us one of the scant clues we have about dark matter that it's been here interacting gravitationally with the universe for a very, very long time. Number 8. The Local Void Just adjacent to our own local group of galaxies, known in this case as the Local Sheet, is a void, a huge one. At least 150 million light years across, this structure's size was determined by a very isolated dwarf galaxy inside it, one of just a handful currently known to be in this void. This little galaxy is behaving strangely, it should be moving towards concentrations of matter, in other words, the galaxies at the edge of the void through gravity, and it is. But it's apparently moving too fast, invoking the involvement of dark energy in one hypothesis. To add to the mysteriousness of the void, it's also growing, with our local sheet essentially rushing away from the void's center. And to add further mystery, the local void appears overall to have fewer galaxies than standard models would suggest. Why that is, is unknown. What is known is that galaxies do not like to be in that void. Number 7. The Upper Limit While not a structure in itself, what could be called the upper limit determines how large structures in the universe can be in principle. Many of the vast superstructures on this list are products of just how the aftermath of the Big Bang played out. Originally, there was very little difference in density other than slight variations in the universe. But as time marched forward, those tiny variations were amplified by the effects of gravity, forming galaxy clusters, superclusters, and the voids in between them. 
but there is a limit to how big those structures should be. And herein lies a mystery. Standard models in cosmology state that the expansion of the universe should limit gravity's clustering effect on objects, and that we should see a limit to the size of these structures. Problem is, there are apparent structures in the universe that exceed this limit, many of which are on this list, and some of them do it by a lot. This should not be, but apparently is. What's at play here could involve dark energy, but in a really strange way. It's usually assumed that dark energy is uniform throughout the universe. If it's not, however, and it can accumulate, then the repulsive force it exerts could push matter away, allowing for larger than expected structures. Or alternatively, there could be something we don't know about gravity. And there's more to the story than what general relativity paints. But there's always room for error in this. Measuring distances in the cosmos is a tricky thing, and as you'll note, many of the apparent largest structures in the universe remain unconfirmed. But it's an interesting thought that if something ever is confirmed that violates our models, then we have a fundamental problem with our models of the universe. Number 6. The SSA-22 Protocluster This structure is rather odd in just what makes it up. It's very distant, about 12 billion light years out, meaning that we're seeing the object in a very early state. Not only are there star-forming galaxies present in the structure, but also objects known as Lyman Alpha Blobs. These are enormous bubbles of gas that can be so large that they measure twice the diameter of the Andromeda Galaxy. What causes these huge blobs is ultimately unknown, but it has been advanced that they are the remnants of giant supernovas that occurred among the earliest giant stars in the universe. The structure itself lines up along three curved filaments, and is actually really dense with all of the objects in the structure packed closely in when compared to the rest of the universe. Further study of this object will likely yield clues about how our own galaxy formed, but may also be among the first structures in the universe to have formed, yielding clues on the conditions of the early universe. Number 5. The Giant GRB Ring one of astronomy's most mysterious phenomena, gamma ray bursts, seemed to hint at something potentially even more mysterious. In 2015, it was discovered that a ring of nine gamma ray bursts seemed to hint that they were in some way related. This structure, if it's really there, is amazingly distant at over 9 billion light years away, with a diameter of 5.6 billion light years, making it one of the largest known structures in the universe. The main question is if the gamma ray bursts are actually related or only appear that way. The distribution of gamma ray bursts in the observable universe would say that such an arrangement would be highly unlikely. If it does exist, it's likely to be a huge structure of galaxies with active star forming regions being linked to the gamma ray bursts. Number 4. The Bhutas Void Also called the Great Nothing, the Bhutas Void is an area of space about 330 million light years in diameter. It's roughly spherical and very distant from us at about 700 million light years away. What's noteworthy about this structure is that it's nearly empty, containing very few galaxies, at most a few thousand across the entire void. If you happen to be inside this void in one of those scant few galaxies, it would be a very strange place to exist. If you were at the center, you would need a very large telescope to even know that other galaxies existed. Just how the void came into being is an open question, but there is a good possibility that it resulted from the merger of a number of smaller voids, sort of like bubbles coalescing into larger bubbles. And indeed, there are some features of the arrangement of the galaxies that are in the void that seem to bear this out. Number 3. The CMB Cold Spot This is one of those cases of a structure, at least one of sorts, that really shouldn't exist yet, it does. The CMB cold spot is an enormous area of the cosmic microwave background radiation that is unusually cold, and also unusually large for what is expected from the CMB. One explanation for it is that it's simply formed from quantum fluctuations during cosmological inflation. The problem is that the mechanism is unlikely, though it's not impossible, to form such a large cold spot. Other options include the presence of a supervoid in space in between us and the CMB, but that supervoid would have to be enormous, perhaps the largest structure in the universe to account for it. One more controversial idea is that the cold spot is an imprint of a parallel universe that was once entangled with ours until separated by cosmic inflation. This concept is actually observationally testable, and if it ever is, then it will be the first indicator that a parallel universe to our own exists. 
Number two, the huge LQG. This is a very different kind of structure, if indeed it's a structure at all. The huge LQG, or huge large quasar group, is made up of 73 quasars spread over a whopping 4 billion light years at about 9 billion light years from Earth. Quasars are very odd, distant and energetic active galactic nuclei, driven, it's thought, by the activities of supermassive black holes. This structure has been a subject of dispute in recent years in that it may just be illusory or an artifact of how the original study was done that discovered it, though recent work seems to suggest that it does indeed exist, and large groupings of quasars are known, just not ones quite this large. But there's a problem, there should be a limit on just how large such a clustering can be. This gets into the cosmological principle, the assumption that when looking at large scales the universe looks the same no matter where you are. This has never been demonstrated, so it remains an assumption, an important one since Einstein depended on it in his work, which tends to hold up quite well to observation. If the huge LQG indeed exists, then the cosmological principle is then in question. What this means for our understanding of the universe remains to be seen. Number 1. The Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall this structure is known not only for its immense size, if it indeed exists, but also for a link to another strange phenomena in the universe, gamma ray bursts. This enormous structure is the largest known structure in the observable universe, spanning about 10 billion light years and containing billions of galaxies. Researchers working with gamma ray bursts noticed a strange, rather implausible clustering of gamma ray bursts in one area of the sky. At first, it wasn't clear how this could be. As it turns out, the best explanation for the concentration of GRBs is that an underlying structure exists, known as the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. This formation may be a region of dense star formation, thus leading to a higher incidence of gamma ray bursts, which are thought to be caused by stellar collapses and neutron star mergers. Our galaxy is also a member of a huge supercluster, but the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is on the order of 30 to 50 times larger. That's thought to be improbable in this universe, leading to some question of whether this structure really exists or is a product of observational issues or some other phenomenon. Thanks for listening. I am futurist and science fiction author John Michael Godier, currently perplexed. Life on Earth sometimes shows convergent evolution, which is why only distantly related creatures like sharks and dolphins resemble each other. Useful features are useful features, and we may well see the same kinds of forms in alien life. Feet are also useful, so aliens may have them. If those feet are rather large, then I can't rule out Space Bigfoot. Very disconcerting. And be sure to check out my books at your favorite online book retailer. And subscribe to my channels for regular in-depth explorations into the interesting, weird, and unknown aspects of this amazing universe in which we live.